Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little tutorial today, things to do with coffee filters. So, um, pockets and and just some just some fun ephemera. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but um, getting these wonderful Kool-Aid Kool dyed coffee filters from um, Carolyn just just put me over the top for that I just had I had to do it so um, I've got some examples here and we'll just we'll just make some of them um, and and just talk about coffee filters a little bit so the first thing that I kind of wondered when I I, I had these uh, little kind of craft colored coffee filters and my husband said, wrong kind, I don't want them for the coffee makers. So I'm like, okay. Um, so I made some kind of prototypes with this. And um, so what I do first really is I iron them to get all the wrinkles out of, of them. So there is that. I haven't taken time to do that because I really wanted to play with the colored ones today anyway. But my prototypes are the craft colored or natural coffee filters just got these at walmart they're just a great value brand and um natural coffee filter so my first question was could they be written on and you can see they sure can and so really one could um attach them into your signature in your journal maybe decoupage a napkin on it or not but they, they can be written on. So that's something good to know. And then I have a couple of different um, things to show you. This one is just a little corner pocket. And I'll show you how I did that. This one is a little pocket where you can stick something in this side, something in this side, and you could put something in the back. So we'll make one of those. And then here's a little coffee filter envelope. And then um, when I decided that you could write on the pages, I just, um, with a scrap of decorative paper, I just made a little coffee filter journal that can be tucked in into your journals. So, um, so there's those uh, things, and we're going to make a few of those pockets here in a minute. Then this is a really cool thing, and um, I got this in Happy Mail from Lorna. And what she did is she, she went ahead and cut her coffee filter in half, and then just folded it. And it makes this cool, um, let's see if I can get it in, see how it just kind of, goes down like that. I, I just think it's really cool for um, sewing on the side of your page or something. So there's that too. So let's make a couple and um, and then we'll just go from there. Uh, let's, I'm gonna be working on a pink journal. So let's, let's play with the pink. Um, let's do, let's do this one first with the two little pockets here super easy really so what you do is just fold your coffee filter in half fold it in half like that and then take one bit over this way and fold one bit over this way and fold and I just kind of eyeball to make sure they're about the same and these are going to meet in the middle. My other one had a little space, but that's okay. I like that. And then we're going to grab this sewing machine and just, just sew around it. Let's see, make sure I'm in camera here. And I'm just going to use um, a, regular, a regular straight stitch. And we'll start down here and I'm just going to going to sew around that. I'm going to give it a little back stitch and 
just gonna and of course once you get these prepared you can you can definitely embellish them further you know put some little flowers a little butterfly you know um, they can certainly be decoupaged on, so you could decoupage a flower on them or whatever. Um, I think I might go one more just to get a little more to the edge. Actually, one more. <laughs> and then... Okay. So, there we have that one. Let's just move the sewing machine over for a minute. So, there it is. We've just, we've got this fun little kind of filmy, wrinkly, fun, um, fun pocket. And I'm just, I'm going to give it a little distressing around the edges. I actually think, and... Again, probably would have been easier on these pockets had I not sewn it first, but until I saw it done, I didn't really realize I wanted a little bit of a little bit of distress on it. And you know, these are tough too. So that's that's what's kind of nice too. So there we go. And actually, as I'm looking at that, this one. You know, you can, obviously, you can put something down here, but these two are separate. You could actually put a little something in between those two, you know, a smaller tag or whatever. But isn't that cute? So, so there's one. Yay, we have one done. Um, let's do, let's do the, just the, just this little side tuck which again is is super easy it's just fold your coffee filter in half and fold it in half again now based on looking at this one that we made if you wanted to you could make multiple you know, multiple pockets in this by not sewing this edge. Now on this one, I sewed all the way around. But as I say that, I'm kind of wondering, let's try this. I'm kind of wondering if you did it in half and didn't quite go all the way in half. Look at that. Look at how fun that is. So then you've got a double pocket. Well, look at that. We figured out something new too. So let's sew around those real quick. Um, so on this one that's the double pocket, I'm just going to sew the bottom so that um, so that we have the two the two pockets to fit things in. Actually, actually, it's more than two pockets. It's actually several more because, as you can see, you've got that pocket, you've got this pocket, and you've got this pocket. So it's actually three pockets, not counting the one if you put it in and make it a slide right there. Okay, well, that's fun. Love that one. So we have that one to embellish. Once again, though, I'm going to give it some definition with a little bit of um, distress ink. And then you'll just really be able to see that it's... And I think maybe we'll do another craft with me once I get my shabby chic kit and decorate these but but isn't that fun 
So we've got, can go in there, there, in there, and then back here. So really four pockets on that one. Awesome. Okay, and then we've got the one that's just, just the normal, the normal tuck, I guess you would call it. I think I'm going to make this, since I have this one, I think I'm going to make this one go this way. And then I'll have one for each side. So I'm going to just do my sewing on this side, is all that means. And I'm going to go all the way around this one. I kind of just want one. And then just, and then just follow the curve around. to that point. Okay, love that. I think I'm going to, um, on that one, when I do my journal, I think I'm going to decoupage a napkin on that one. That'll be fun. Okay, so that's the corner pocket that I wanted to do and one that I just thought of... <laughs> As we were as we were working on it so we've already got three which is awesome I mean they just go really quick too okay so let's do let's do the envelope make sure you can see here so um, on the envelope let's see let's use this one it's such a pretty pink um, this one we okay I have to remember how I did it <laughs> Okay, so we're going to fold it in whatever size we want our envelope. If we want it smaller to larger, okay? So I'm going to try and make the sides about, about even as far as how far they go in. There we go. And then we're going to press that. So we're just going to go that way. And then we're just going to fold up. Once again, however deep we want our envelope. Okay, this one needs to come over a little bit, I think. Just from the way that was folding. Yep. Okay, so there's that. And then we're just going to fold down the flap. Like so. Okay, right and then we're just going to go sew around three sides so let's do that okay and then so I'm just gonna start up here and make sure we're squared away here and then we're just gonna just sew right down going to make our pocket I'm actually I actually think I'm gonna keep going and just sew around the flap purely for decorative purposes just for fun how about we change to a decorative stitch there for the flap let's just do that so this one is just um, little leaves. We'll just put that on the flap. Okay, and now we're going to go back to just straight stitch and I'm going to come down this way and we're going to meet up with that stitching. A little crooked, but that's okay. 
Keeping it real, people. Keeping it real. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, so fun. Okay. So, that one is just like that. How cute is that little envelope? And then we can just tuck right in there. Whatever we want. Journaling card, coffee dyed paper, whatever. Okay, so we've done that. The only thing that I am not going to show you is, is this. Because basically it's just flattening out your coffee or yeah your coffee filters and then cutting them the size of whatever scrap you have um i wonder if i could iron that after i might could well we might make one what the heck um okay so we did that we did that we did that okay so really the only thing we haven't done is made one of these ruffles which i just think they're so so super cute so let's see if one of these colored ones these are pretty they're also pretty um oh this one has a really good edge this one has a really good edge so let's let's make a ruffle out of this one so i'm going to fold it in half and make a crease just so i have something to cut on to a guide you know and we're just gonna do this and then with the other half if we didn't want to make a ruffle with the other half we could always just um, just make it go in half and have just a little bit thinner of a um, of a corner which maybe that's what we'll do with that just to just to use that up right away Okay, so then what she does with this is she's got it a little more than a half of an inch and um, she just takes it and does a little fold and then just kind of alternates back and forth like so. Then we're going to come right to the edge and there you have it isn't that isn't that just so cute as um as an edge for a page i think it's awesome so i'm going to sew down the center of this just to give it once again a little bit of a decorative element let's do this time let's do zigzag and I'm gonna actually um, make my zigzag just a little smaller than normal. And let's just go right down the center of this. I like it okay so that just gave it that that little bit of an element too and so um, yeah so that can then just be it can just be put down the edge of the page now if you kept it like this and didn't um, zigzag on it you actually could pull it out and write on it if you wanted so there's that too so we've got ruffles we've got pockets and we've got envelopes and we've got another kind of pockets and we've got a little book okay let's see how long we our video has been going not bad not bad okay let's go ahead and make a little book if i can you know what we'll do this is what we'll do. We are going to grab some of this paper that I am going to use on that shabby chic when it, when it comes. We're just going to grab one of these papers and not use a scrap, just use the paper. So let's let's pick one we like. Ooh, 
I do so love the roses. So let's use that side of that and let's let's see. Yeah, those are, that's going to be just fine. So normally I would have those um, ironed once again, I will tell you, but I didn't do that ahead of time. I was just excited to do this video. So, um, but that's okay. I can put it together and I can iron it with my little craft iron afterwards, I think. So, okay, let's just fold this in half. Oh, that's going to be cute. That's going to be really cute. Okay, so how many pages did I put in my little prototype one? Four, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So it has eight pages or 16 sides. I mean, that's a good size little, little journal. So, okay, we have got one, two, a couple more filters. So, you know, the cool thing about this is sometimes I hear from people who are just starting, they don't have a lot of supplies. Well, you probably do. <laughs> if you look around your house a little bit, you probably do. So, um, you know what? I'm going to take two seconds and we're just going to iron those because my little iron is right here. All I have to do is plug it in. So we're going to do that. As I, sorry, I'm hitting the camera, the camera tripod. Um, and now I'm kicking it. Uh, let's see. Let's do, get out my little board and we'll just iron these super quick. Can I get any more on this tiny desk? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so tempted tomorrow to... I want to switch things out here because it's kind of driving me crazy. It's just a little too small. Okay, so let's just use the little craft iron and we're just going to iron those up, flatten them out. So this just shows you how easy it is to just make these little, these little guys go flat. It's pretty, pretty easy. Got them all stacked up and decided maybe I'd give them each their own little pass with the iron. Okay, I'm going to set the iron aside and try not to forget to unplug it. <laughs> Okay, if I have my ironing board out, I'll remember. Okay, so that gives us our four little rounds. Now, what I think I did for the other one that was pretty easy was I just opened, opened this. Okay, and I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to draw a little line and then I'm going to know when I cut this I actually want to go inside the line a bit so that you know so that it doesn't show on the cover so I'm just going to use my paper cutter and we are just going to cut all four of them at the same time and I am going to go in that's maybe a quarter of an inch or so that I'm going in on each one. Now we have to think of something creative to do with those leftovers there. <laughs> okay, give that about a quarter of an inch. one about a quarter of an inch or so. And the 
this one about a quarter of an inch. Okay. So I think those other, those little pieces, I have an idea for those too. Let's, let's get our book put together. So was it this way or was it this way? It's like this way. I guess it's six by six. It's not going to matter. Were you were you shouting that at me? <laughs> okay, so there we go. There. What I think I'll do actually is fold these in half, just so I can see when I sew. I'm going to move these for a second, and then we're going to just. So right down the middle. With, of course, a straight stitch. We've got our little line. All looks good. got ourselves a little booklet too and it just folds over like so I do think I'm gonna go ahead because these corners are rounded a bit I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners of the little book And there we go. I can just give this a little distress ink. Um, I'll maybe put an image or something on the front, which will be cute, you know, just right here. And we've got ourselves a little, a little journal with craft pages. It'd be fun to stamp. I might stamp a little rose on at least on the first page, right? So there's that too, with, just with coffee filters. And I'm th my thought is with these little leftovers, these would be really cute, just um, smushed. Let's do one, let's just do it. Okay. Um, just smushed like this and then on the edge of a page. Waste not, want not, right? Just run a seam down it. And instant, instant embellishment on the side of a page. Obviously doesn't show up very good there here, you know just on any in on any one of your journal pages. So once I'm done with this video, I might just sew all those down. You know what I want to try is two of them kind of staggered. Let's see what that looks like. I can't quit. Can you tell with these co with these coffee filters? I'm just just having fun with them. Okay, smoosh them up. We're gonna seam down them and see what we got. Cute. It's just it's just a little fabric ruffle. We could take oh, for instance. We could just pop a little flower on there and look at how cute that is for the an, uh, a page edge embellishment. Cool. Well, there you go. That's all I have for now <laughs> on on the uh, on the coffee filter embellishments. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope 
you know, if you think of other things, definitely share them with me. But I'm loving all these pockets now that I have for my next journal. Woohoo! So there you go. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.